Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Good morning to you. Hope you have a very blessed and a very safe day today. Uh, this is actually our storm strengthening right now in the Gulf, and it's going to be a tropical storm very soon this morning. Matter of fact, I'm showing that it will be winds all the way up to 64 miles per hour sustained winds. Now we'll go through what I have. If you've never been here before, hello. <laughs> My name is Mark. I do upload every single day, just not from Friday from sundown to Saturday from sundown. That's when I take my Sabbath. Matter of fact, I believe that everybody should be well informed of this storm that's coming. It has been informed and updated for quite some time, a little over a month. But I do believe that everybody should be okay. Hopefully, y'all took precautions from the warnings that I've been given for quite some time now. I will be going into my Sabbath today. There will be a lot of people live streaming uh, this event, but I do not feel like I should break my Sabbath. I have gotten a lot of messages from people that wanted to donate and help and send me some, some love and some funding. And I know it's from your heart. And I know it's uh, God-given for you to help and support. And I do appreciate you for that. Uh, on the second hand, I feel like breaking my Sabbath, I feel like I would be chasing uh, that money for a live stream, and I really don't want to do that in my heart. So I'm going to be going into my Sabbath, just to make sure I don't do any fault. But I do wish the best for every single one of you. God bless every single one of you, whether you are one of my subs or not, I do wish you to be safe. I did put a special message at the end of this video, just for you, to help protect you and keep you strong. God bless you. Now our update as of this morning is these tracks are taking a sharper turn. It's not going so wide for Louisiana. It's going to take an even sharper turn, which means that the surface low pressure is going to travel right over southern Mississippi. And then the wind gust is going to start picking back up to the 40s and 50s and high 50s as it goes from Alabama, gets stronger through Georgia and South Carolina. And intensity guidance came out early this morning. It is predicted to be a tropical storm by early this morning. It will weaken down as it gets a little closer, but then it will re-strengthen right back into a tropical storm. Even a good chance for a strong tropical storm. And that's what I am showing. Now, according to NOAA, this is your impacts for tropical storm force winds. This means in this area, this is the chance that you have of sustained winds of at least 39 miles per hour. Uh, in the yellow would be even more accurate of sustained winds in the higher. And as you get into the green, it kind of loses its intensity. I see a lot of people will be in the 20s for sustained winds. Here's your greatest risk for flash flooding within the next three days. You are in a moderate risk in this red, you're in a slight risk in the yellow, and a marginal in the green. And you can see right here through Saturday morning, it's in a slight risk right for lower Mississippi, southeast Louisiana, and southern Alabama. As you go until Sunday morning, it stretches over Alabama and the panhandle of Florida, and then it weakens down as you go through Monday morning for Georgia and South Carolina. Now, there will be a lot of onshore flooding. There will be a lot of surge that will be coming with this rain. So now your total rainfall so far from NOAA is anywhere from 6 to 10 inches in this orange, 4 to 6 inches in this yellow, and then the yellow up here for Alabama as well. And then you'll in the green, you have 2 to 4 inches with 1 to 2 inches in the light green. With the storm surge flooding, you got to watch out for the storm surge, guys. And not just the storm surge. This thing's spinning around and moving all the water in the whole Gulf of Mexico. So you need to watch out. Texas, Florida, you need to watch out for rip currents. Be careful. I know you're going to want to be on the beach. I know it's Father's Day weekend. But be very careful. The tides and the rip currents will be very strong, even though you're far away from the storm. But this is your peak storm surge forecast from NOAA. It's one to two feet over in this area, two to three feet for the main impact area for storm surge. And that puts Lake Pontchartrain into one to two feet, Mobile Bay, two to three feet. And it goes, as it goes towards Florida, it gets back down towards one to two feet. So this is the main impact area still. And right now it's still potential tropical cyclone three, but it will be a depression. It will jump to a tropical storm this morning. It does strengthen to well above 40 miles per hour sustained winds. It is still predicted to be a storm as it goes on land over southern Mississippi for 1 p.m. on Saturday as it weakens down to a depression. And according to NOAA, it should be a tropical storm still by 8 a.m. on Saturday as it goes across Mississippi. Then it's going to start weakening down to a depression. 
But now here's your new cone. It is predicted to go into southeast Louisiana, right over New Orleans, right over southern Mississippi, which, which pushed the worst of this weather on the east side of it. So actually, if you're in the cone, you should be seeing clear weather a lot sooner than everybody else. Then it will be a depression going over Alabama and a depression as it goes over northern Georgia. And as far as your wind gust goes, by Saturday at 7 a.m., you're going to start getting 40 miles per hour wind gusts into Alabama and the Florida Panhandle. And it will get up to 50 miles per hour by the time you get into 1 p.m. for Saturday. Then it'll grow towards Montgomery with the 50 plus miles per hour by 7 p.m. tomorrow. And then it'll move towards Georgia and South Carolina. But Montgomery is going to be in 50 miles per hour wind gusts all afternoon long, all the way till 1 a.m. on Sunday before it moves away towards Georgia, where they get almost 60 miles per hour uh, wind gusts by Sunday at 7 a.m. So here it is, Sunday by 2 a.m. You're getting a 50 miles per hour wind, wind gust going through Columbus. And then as you go to 8 a.m. on Sunday, it moves across towards Atlanta. You're still getting 50 miles per hour wind gusts by Newman and south in Georgia. And then as you go to 2 p.m. on Sunday, now it's going to go all the way to Columbia, South Carolina, and southern Georgia with high 40s and possible for 50 miles per hour wind gusts. As a matter of fact, when you get to Sunday afternoon around 8 p.m., it will pick up into the high 40s and it'll even go to the 50s as it goes to leave land by Monday at 2 a.m. And then it'll be 58 miles per hour wind gusts off of Myrtle Beach. It will be strengthening as it leaves for Monday for 8 a.m. Then it will be going offshore and you'll be in the 30s. Now the lowest millibar pressure I did find is by the H Wharf. And the H Wharf shows that it will get all the way down to a 998 tropical storm as this comes on land in southern Louisiana. And according to the H Wharf, your rainfall total amounts for the next 48 hours is lighter in southern Mississippi. You can see how you got that 3 to 5 stretch across central Mississippi and then right around Alabama and Florida is where the heaviness of the rainfall will be. The NAM 3K also confirms that it will be a heavier band going across central Mississippi while the extreme south of it won't be as heavy and you still got heaviness going for the Panhandle of Florida and southern Alabama. Now high resolution rapid refresh does show that it will be a little more sporadic of the heaviness. It will be more like three to five across all of southern Mississippi, southern Alabama and the Panhandle of Florida within the next 48 hours. And the Euro model for the next 48 hours shows it's a little more of an eastern push where Mississippi wouldn't get all that much. It's mostly going to be an Alabama and Panhandle of Florida problem within the next 48 hours. And the full track according to the Euro for the next five days has anywhere from one all the way to seven inches of rainfall all the way from North Carolina. So it is a heavy track of five to eight inches that will be going across southern Alabama, uh, Panhandle of Florida, central georgia and central south carolina and when i checked our potential velocity anomaly i did see our potential velocity anomaly we have it now and as you can see it is, is a little bit weaker i am showing that we have a stronger one coming we've been following that other wave for a while now and it is showing more strength it's all the way from the 25th possibly to the 28th now this one is a little bit more western so that definitely goes to our western caribbean now this is all the way to the 26th but I, did find a, but I did find a storm that did come through the Western Caribbean. This is the one that came into the Gulf on a couple of those miles we do have. But now it shows that it will go through the Yucatan, come out the, on the East Pack, and it will get all the way down to a 971 hurricane for uh, Western Mexico. Now, we need to update this because a few, couple of times it did show this getting into our Gulf, and it still is uh, nine days away. So I will update you on that. Power outages has already started this morning, so be aware this wind can push off, can push trees over. It will cause power outages for a lot of people. Uh, matter of fact, California is sitting with over 17,000 people without power. They have a lot of issues over there already. And y'all, severe weather you'll have in the Midwest and Ohio Valley, which will be today also. You already have 12,000 people without power in Illinois. Puerto Rico got worse. They're sitting at over 24,000 people, and it's from the center to the eastern side of the island and are without power. And the Virgin Islands is sitting over 25,000 people without power right now. And if you look again at the Virgin Islands, you'll see that out of this county, there's 2891 homes, 2877 without power. 22,600 homes, 647, 22,618 without power. It is a total of 
outage scale for the Virgin Islands. And you can see the track. It is a tropical depression, and then there'll be a tropical storm soon, and it will carry tropical storm strength all the way until it goes on Mississippi. And I did find so far that with high resolution rapid refresh, that it will get up to 64 miles per hour sustained winds as this system starts moving on shore. So there is going to be a lot of strengthening. It will definitely be a tropical storm. I'm showing it will be a high end uh, tropical storm all the way up to 64 sustained winds. So that's pretty fast. And so far for our watches and warnings, it covers southeast Louisiana, south Mississippi. You have tropical storms remaining in effect for all of coastal Louisiana and coastal Mississippi. This includes Ascension, Assumption, Eastern Orleans, Hancock, Harrison, Jackson, Livingston, Lower Jefferson, Lower Lafouche, Lower Plaquemines, Lower St. Bernard, Lower Terrebonne, Northwest St. Tammany, Southeast St. Tammany, Southern Tangipahoe, St. Charles, St. James, St. John the Baptist, Upper Jefferson, Upper Lafouche, Upper Plaquemines, Upper St. Bernard, Upper Terrebonne, and Western Orleans. Now for today, with this system coming on, you have a chance for tornadoes in this area right here. And for tomorrow, this will move a little more eastern and get into Alabama some. And your chances for tornadoes for tomorrow will expand out over Alabama and western Georgia. So I'm playing this for you guys. This is high resolution rapid refresh so you can see as these storms come on shore. They're pretty rough storms. It does try and get a new center of location for this storm. It does try and recycle the center and move it a little more eastern. So we do need to watch out for that. That is where it starts intensifying to be some very strong uh, winds. But you can see how it carries across and it does get pretty strong. So there will be some good bit of rainfall for everybody. It will be some good wind gusts. However, it has come down. I don't see any hurricane uh, force wind gusts. The highest is 61, and that's over Georgia and South Carolina. At the same time, I want to pray for you guys. I know you all all prepared. We've been knowing about this for quite some time. God bless you today. I hope out of all things, of course, you, there's no hurt, there's no problems, no lies lost. But I do pray that you won't lose your power neither because power outage can really make everything worse. So bless you. I do wish the best for every single one of you. Let's praise our Father. Amen. He's the one that protects us, especially in the rough times. One that everyone should know very dear to their hearts. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yes, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. God bless you all. I do wish the best for you. God, please, if it is your will, protect these people from any harm, for they do believe in you. They do love you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. All glory goes to Yahweh, God of Jacob, Father of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Father. Amen. Bless you all today. Hope you have a Wonderful Sabbath. I know y'all dealing with a lot. I feel you are prepared. I can feel it. All glory.
does go to Yahweh, God of Jacob. Amen. God bless you guys. Hope you have a very blessed day.